Well, if anybody has bought postcards and they want to post one and get a Timpley postmark, then there's some post boxes here. So write yourself a postcard and post it in the box. What is this for? What are you protesting? What are you protesting about? It's a door to door, station to station. Here's my invitation to you to the magical. To the magical, the magical, simple it all. I'm rolling on, rolling on. For the magical, the magical, simple it all. I'm rolling on, rolling on. For the magical, simple it all. You know I am. I really if anybody sees a swan, give us a shout. Thank you. I don't know if you do this around where you live, but in the winter when it's Christmas, that's the council estate on that side, and that's the dead posh houses, and they have a war going on. And they all go to the pound shop and buy loads of cheap Christmas decorations, and just leather the house with it. And on that side, they buy like a big inflatable reindeer that costs about a million quid. But if you come down here at Christmas, it's better than going to Las Vegas. Or Blackpool's Golden Mile. Right, follow me and let's have a walk through Timperley. Flora over there. No picking the flowers, please. Keep your eyes up the road, mother. <laughs> now, this is a tricky bit coming out because there's some low hanging trees. I'll give you good warning. What's up with the trees? <laughs> Blimey. There's another tree coming up on the other side in a minute. Here we are now approaching the famous crossroads in Timperley. It has been filmed many times here for the fantastic TV shows and things like that. Uh, as I said, there's a green grocer's on the corner there, but it's shut. Oh! Photo opportunity by the two post boxes. One post box is for left-handed people and one is for right-handed people. During the Second World War, Shaftesbury Avenue here was actually built as an emergency runway for Manchester Airport in case it got bombed by the Germans. They only started building bungalows after the war just in case they could land a plane in case the war carried on again. But now they've built lamp posts, there's no chance. <laughs> there used to be a wishing well in a garden along the edge just out of interest, but it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Coming up! It's fantastic Timperley Fish Bar. <laughs> Billy doesn't, well he's only been open a few months, but he's agreed to open for the first time on a Sunday. Come on, we've got a hungry bus load. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a big cheer, Billy! <laughs> we go for the world record of how many people we can fit in a chicken. <laughs> so pile in, let's see how many we can fit inside. I'll squash up this and keep coming. Somebody keep a head count. And if you want to buy chips as well, you can do. Today's special lunchtime only pie or pudding, dinner and a can, three pounds. Chips, 
cheese and beans, one pound fifty. Have we got more than 200 in yet? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, blimey. I bet Norris McWears is not even here, is he? Have you had 150s worth of chips from here? I bet that's a load, isn't it? Yeah. I bet I could eat two lots if I was watching telly. It does something good on like a dead long film, like two episodes of Space 1999. You could do it then. I'd easy get through two 150s of chips, with a pie as well, probably. Have you all enjoyed the tour? Yes! Would you come back on another one? Yes! Would you pay an extra 10 pence next time? <laughs> right, well that is the Timpley that I have grown up in. That is the Timpley I love. That is the Timpley that Paul McCartney wishes he'd grown up in because wings might have lasted a bit longer. But oh well, at least he gave us a bit of the Beatles until he packed it in. See you all next year! Yay! No, I mustn't go on about Paul McCartney because he talks about me at the dinner table all the time. He thinks, that's, he thinks I'm obsessed with him and it's more like he's obsessed with me so it's got to stop Paul now. Right. Is that everybody off the bus? Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> Clear the bus, please. Thank you.